Memes, yeah, we're doing memes again. Get over it. All right, so we're, you know what, why waste time? We should just get right into it. First meme, this kid. Eee, that kid. A man from Nigeria wants to share his fortune with me. Oh my God, I wanna be rich. No, you're not. Don't be stupid. Don't share info about yourself on any sort of part of the internet or email or literally anywhere else that you can think. You're not that crazy to be like the tinfoil hat wearing government conspiracy theorist because they'll get you. Same goes for anything financially related. All right, the next one. Got a huge tax return. Ugh, put it in my emergency fund. That's genius, actually. I really like that idea. Legitimately one of the smartest decisions. So do it. Do it! Just do it! If you get money back on anything, by the way, shelf it. You should definitely shelf it. Common advice is to put 20 to 25% of your overall monthly pay into savings and have like a $400 emergency fund. I said that in a previous episode, so if you want to see that, check out budgeting. On to our next one. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi, zero dollar credit card balance. Now that is something I haven't seen in a long time. It probably is true. It's also a really good feeling. If you've gotten rid of all of your debt on your credit card, don't get rid of the credit card at all. Credit history will always make your credit go up. I said that in another episode about credit. So remember, it'll bust up your credit history, which more credit history, better credit score. How I feel when I stay within my budget. Yeah, just that one's probably the most difficult thing to do of all, staying within your budget. But if you can do it, do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Financial planning, tip of the day, prioritizing. Yeah, actually this right here is a really good example of budgeting, like physical budgeting. I mean, I think that the Portions are a little bit off. Uh, you obviously wouldn't spend that much money on tacos and that little on rent gas and homegirl, but, or homeboy, I don't know. I don't know who you date, I don't care, it's 2019. All right, our next meme. Who says finance marketing is stressful? I'm 45 and I feel spry. This one isn't for you guys, this one's for me. Anyway, on to the next one. A client buys two large Red Bulls and nachos at the gas station every day. I don't understand why you broke. You, that's why. Like, not only is this bad for your financial health, but it's bad for your, like, physical health. Don't drink Red Bulls and eat gas station nachos. That's gross, man. Think about budgeting again, like, all right, let's do, it. let's do the next one. We got the dog here saying, I did the math. We can't afford the cat. <laughs> By the way, I love dogs. Look at him. Quick fact, moneyunder30.com says that the total first year cost of owning a dog is $1,270 and a cat is $1,070. As you can see, having a pet can cost you over $1,000 in the first year and well over $500 each additional year. Depending on the food you buy and sudden medical expenses, the cost could actually be much higher. So look, I, I don't want to be the person to tell you this, but sorry, not sorry. If you can't afford it, don't. I love animals. I love animals more than you. I really do. I can guarantee you that I love dogs and cats more than you do. But if it's not in the budget, then it's not in the budget. And don't be a bad owner. That's just messed up to the animal. Okay, the next one, we got Charlie Day trying to explain financial aid. Just explaining finances is like this. What are you talking about? Not everybody does this, but you should though, because you're not everybody. It'll greatly help in you understanding your financial aid. You'll be able to financially plan for the future and how to pay that stuff back. So, be crazy. It's cool, kinda. It's cool. All right, New York Stock Exchange tweeted when you first learned about trading options. Why don't you explain this to me like I'm five, says Michael Scott. Well, that's so funny because the next episode of Money Millennial is gonna be about stocks and stock trading and stock apps. Mm. So I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching Money Millennial. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see more episodes, check it out right here or directly on my channel.